I call this video High Strangeness of Magnets. Without working with magnets, I found a couple principles that I had not come across before. We're all aware of the two polarities of a magnet, the north and the south. So I was working with some cylinder magnets. These are two inch by half inch. I placed the four pack together. North, south, north, south. Opposite side would be south, north, south, north. The resultant fields would be the same north, south, north, south, north, south, north, south. I figured that it would be a mishmash of fields and there would be no polarity to that like a single magnetic field. Here's what I found out. There are definitely a polarity of fields there. In order to make sure I was not getting a single magnet in my reading, I was shifted back and forth. So there's a south. Here's my north. Here's my south and my north. This was unexplained to me. Furthermore, I tested the ends or the zones. I have a video out called the Zem Magnet Magnifier that takes into account some of these zones. So I took a bolt Place it in the zone. See, there is no magnetism or very, very, very little. This is the south polarity field. And I'll go to the negative polarity for the north. This you have to hold in a little bit better. We're now experiencing definitely a field. This is also unexplained. A field, if you have a north, there's our north, holds together, or the opposite. It pulls your metal in. And yet here we are facing something that also has a north and a south polarity. This is our north. Could glue that in there to, for this. Definitely have magnetic field on the north side facing and this would be the south polarity and yet you experience no draw whatsoever in order to have a control I came up with a, another configuration of magnets now I have some ceramic whereas I had neo magnets before I wasn't able to get them into a symmetrical form but the results were pretty close to the same. We have a south polarity and a north polarity. This wasn't quite so surprising because my longer legs were coming into play. And these are south. So that wasn't too surprising but when I tested the magnetism of the two end zones we'll see what happens I find you have to come in straight in to the zone and not to the sides otherwise the readings aren't correct
you remember on the neomagnets, the north face had uh, We'll go to the south face. I believe I did not come in straight on that north side. Okay, we have our polarity southward. We are sticking. Straight in again. May have to try this a couple of times. Just, just right, straight and lined. This is the opposite of the Neo, where the Neo, the north side, was pulling in. One more time. This is good. You need to know that if you don't bring that in just right, then the readings won't be correct. This is a little bit more finicky, whereas the uh, neos were bundled together, they were symmetrically. This is a little bit odd. Okay. And probably we could get two on there. Try. So this was uh, quite unexplainable to me. We may be able to use this in some type of uh, arrangement where it would be beneficial to having access to some type of power or put in with some existing unit. Try that again. I'm kind of an angle here for my video. There we go. ceramic and neo-magnets. These are principles that uh, I'm going to explore a little bit more and uh, see what would happen. Thank you very much. In this section we'll be examining the neutral lines. There's a gentleman over a hundred years ago, Gary's Magnet Motor. He was working with these magnetic lines making some generators and motors from. We are in the what he called the neutral zone where two faces of a magnet came together north and south. We're going to see if we have any magnetic pulling capabilities. There is some there. But this is good. Have these nice and flush. Okay, there we go. There. These lines are very fine. that up. I'm going to bring that a little bit more into 
Let me move the line. Let's see what happens there. There we go. Look at that. Okay. That's good. You need to know that. We're going to break that neutral line by bringing it over to one of the faces. Now we have a strong magnetic pull. I'll bring that towards the neutral line. And uses the magnetism. Gary made some magnetic motors and generators using that principle of the magnetic lines, neutral lines. This portion, I'll go over my Zem mag magnifier. I have another video out covers it completely. Draws 20 milliamp. Whether it's in the Zem mode or the coil is remote. Draws the same current all the time. Without being energized, there is no magnetic pull. And that was part of my input. The other part, part of my input was the Zem by itself what it could lift. It was very little. I was able to pick one of these up. Very, very, very little magnetic. I'm not going to be able to get that one even. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put it in Zen mode. And we're able to pick that up. And for brevity, it's, it can actually no more draw. Uh, sometimes I explained that the current would shift a little bit. The coil heats up, uh, causing a little bit more resistance, and so it doesn't draw as much current. That's my Zem ZMM Zone Magnet Magnifier. That are some of the uh, odd and strange, unexplained things that I found out about magnets.